Boom, gang, I'm back again. My name's Uta Beefs. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs. So, boom, gang, today we're doing a review, but it's not on a rare form. This review is gonna be on the FX radar or the wireless chronograph by FX air guns. Watch this. I've had this since November last year and I've never tried it out. Like, it's just been sitting in my air gun drawer. You get me? So yeah, today we're gonna figure out how it works and everything. Okay. In every gang, there is a man that'll bring that violence. You don't post, you don't snap, you just move real quiet. So yeah, let's get into it. Let me start with the back of the box car. Nothing comes in the box. So let me start with the back of the box. It's got a little instructions on it. So watch this now. It says, both portable and packed with features, the wireless chronograph communicates via Bluetooth to your smartphone. The app will show your velocity muzzle energy muzzle energy is the power of the rifle that's what we want to find out the velocity is how fast the pellets flying basically but the muzzle energy is the power of the rifle um show you velocity muzzle edge muscle energy exportable shot string and more since the wireless chronograph uses radar technology at work in any weather and light condition uh, second part, it says set up an instructions found within the app. Download the FX Radar app and, uh, on either your iOS or Android smartphone. So boom, I'm going to set up on the phone. I was going to do it on the tablet there, but that tablet's, the memory's full up. So I'm going to do it on my phone and we're going to go close up as well so I can show you lot straight up you get me well let me show you what's in what comes inside of the box now nothing just the chronograph no instructions like it says here the instructions comes on the app when you download the when you download the fx radar app so boom this is the fx radar you turn it upside down you look, see it's got the on and off on and off button up there it's got the battery and it's got a little light here it's green I've, i watched a review last night on this to tell the truth by giles barry so yeah when it's on that light screen and um, yeah it shows the battery one thing i'm gonna say before you go out and buy this and come home and get excited make sure you go buy three AAA batteries that's what this takes and then after that you're good to go so yeah this is the fx radar basically when you put on a rifle you gotta turn it around this way and then put the barrel here so this is the front of the barrel where the silencer is and you want it with the back of this bit the flank part basically so yeah that's what the fx chronograph looks like so boom second part now let me go into let me download it to the app now quickly i'm gonna give you a close-up as well all right then to download the app now basically let's go into the app store fx there it comes up already fx reader download it again all right then we're gonna open up now pocket chronograph basically just tells you yeah you need the three aa batteries to use this what else on your device oh your bluetooth turn on that the bracket choose what gun type you'll be prone to click here it's basic man common sense go next it's just showing you about how to put the chronograph like i said Alright then, warning, do not place anything, it, obviously we know, nothing in front of the barrel, make sure there's no people or nothing in front of the barrel, so boom, FX radar, would you like to, would like to use Bluetooth, okay, start by selecting a profile, okay, UK air gun, high power, that's more like for the Americans, 
America. They ain't got no restrictions in it. UK. Our one's 12 foot pounds. So UK. Boom. Power on your X. Power on your FX radar and click connect to device. It's found. And boom. Can you see that green light there? Yeah. Found device. Connect. Connect and pair with new device. Okay. Alright, then we're into it now. It says home. At the bottom. Home, shot strings, profile, settings. More. Let's go into settings. General settings. We're using it to bomb. That's the pellet. What are we going to be using? We use for the 2 2 for the FX Wildcat, we use 15.89. Shall I put GR? Green. Oh, 15.89. Diablo. Return. Use this setting to fine tune the results from the chronograph. Dixie the set. I don't know nothing about that. See so yeah. What's this about? Units. Select unit speed for FPS from mm -mm. greens. Boom. Everything's there. I don't get this calibrated thing, you know. I might have to go into it. Battery. Yeah, we're using alkaline. Alright then. Profile. Been into that. Shot string. Home. So basically, yeah, I think that's it. All we really need to do is just connect this to the rifle and shoot it. So I'm going to go to the range later and I'm going to connect this to all three rifles and then we're going to see what my rifle will shoot at. So yeah, let's go to the range, man. See, that's my last shot, 10.2. If I press shot strings, this will show you that. The other shots, so yeah, that's the Wildcat done. Let me do the RME and the P15.
point. One more time, please. Make sure it's empty. So, boom, gang. See where I am again. I had to come here just to get the second opinion. I let Sam try it with the with Crawley Surplus stores, Chrono, and my Chrono together. Yeah. The, the Wildcat went to like 8.8. .8. That's way under, so we ain't worried about that. The P15, that was shooting at like 11.3, 11.4. I'm gonna go home. P15.
Boom, gang, back again. Two things I want to talk about. First thing is the FX radar. Second thing is the rifles. So boom, let's get into the chronograph first. First thing I'm going to say is it's, an inv it's a good investment. Anyone that's into air guns and that, you need an FX chronograph. You need a chronograph, sorry. Don't matter if it's e FX or crony or whatnot. It's a good investment because you have to remember just by putting in a heavy pellet, you can go over the legal limit. You get me? So, boom, let me get into it. In the beginning, it was moving crazy, car. Even when I was in Cruelly Surplus store and I gave Sam my phone and the chronograph with my rifle on it, it was reading 27 foot pound and we weren't even shooting or nothing. So. Yeah, it was moving crazy in the beginning. I was getting some crazy readings. Went to Crawley Surplus store. They shot, they shot my rifles with the FX radar and their chronograph in the shop. In the shop, and it matched up that day. So the day before, when I was getting them high readings, I was thinking, what the hell? But when we went in there, yeah, it was getting normal readings. So boom. FX chronograph, yeah, it's kind of handy, right? It just connects to your phone as well. I like it, man. I'm gonna definitely keep using it. Like, even if I'm just out here shooting in my garden or something, I'm gonna use it, car. You got see the way how it goes up and down, up and down, like 12, like it will go from 12 foot pound to 11 foot pound or 11 free or something. That's gonna make your shots go wherever i noticed my shots was going to the right every time the power went low overall you definitely need a chronograph it's handy so yeah big up fx air guns had to get it just to match the fx wildcat you get me second thing i'm going to talk about now is the rifles first thing the fx wildcat you lot see that's underpowered like way underpowered the lowest i saw it go was 8.8 .8, and i'm always talking about 11.5 11.6 the fx wildcat's been tuned by air effective tunings and my guy at one jeff man he's played with it as well chrono it tested the reg he left at 11.6 you get me but from i've had that rifle i haven't serviced it or anything so Now's a good time, basically. I'm gonna service it, see what it needs, and yeah, hopefully it'll get back up to the 11.6, you get me? Second thing, but yeah, that's that's underpowered, way underpowered, we ain't worried about that, but it's still accurate. At 30 yards, 40 yards, it's accurate. It's not really about the power, we're in England, you get me? It's all about accuracy. Two, the P15. The P15, it's mad consistent, 11.3, 11.4, 11.3, 11.4, 4. consistent. That one with the 10 grain heavies, that one's just legal. So, yeah, I'm gonna not going to do nothing to that. It shoots perfect, it's at a perfect power. So, it groups perfect, it's at a perfect power. So, yeah, I ain't doing nothing that. P15's okay. The RM8 now. That's a different situation. I can't even bring that out of my house until I get someone to play with that car. That one was shooting like 12, eight, 12, nine. You get me? So yeah, I need to get that one tested again and tuned. If not, I'm just gonna get rid of it. See if I can part X car. I need a new rifle, man. I'm getting not even bored, but I need more rifles so I can do more reviews. You get me? So gang, I'm done anyway, man. If you lot made it this far, thank you for watching. Big up yourselves. And I'm done till the next video. I ain't put out that video of me going to the range yet. To the last boot cell. I'm going to upload that real soon. There's a lot of swearing in there, so I've got to edit it out and all of that. Cause it was made for Instagram, not YouTube. I've got to be a nerd on YouTube, you get me? What else have I got to say? I don't even know, but gang, my name's Uta Beavs. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beavs. And big up yourselves when I'm gone again. 
out while I was here as well, yeah. I picked up some of these QISs. I keep hearing good things about them, so. Yeah, I picked up one, 8.48 grains domed. So yeah, gang, gonna look forward to some videos with these as well. I wanna see how they shoot, so boom.